I, if, I don't know if you're recording our voices right now, but for posterity, Josh wouldn't tell us what we're playing today. He just said that he's going to put it up on the screen, so we're going to see it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. Don't don't worry. It's going to be cool. Oh, I'm worried. Don't um, worry. Don't worry okay, about me being worried, because I am worried. Let me hit the play button and hope that the size scaling I did here carries over. Uh -oh. Into what, the recording. What's that Roomba? Beat? I hear the music. It, it did not. <laughs> yeah, it's all. So, Hang what, on. What? I see something. I have two Ooh. figures. What? It's blurry. What the? Are we? Are we playing um, like Clash of Clans today? Here we go. Okay. Uh, no. So this is seven grand steps. Step one: What ancients begat. Which is quite a title, uh, and I believe I believe they were going to have more of these games, like Step Two and Step Three, and so on. But uh, that never happened. This is by um, Mouse Chiff Productions, who I think did um, Dangerous High School Girls in Trouble, like forever. Ago. I don't know okay. any of the words you're saying right now at all. I actually have played um, Dangerous High School Girls in Trouble, and that was that was a decent experience. Also, it's so really blurry. This is... so... It's like oh, it's barely really for you. That's odd. Yeah, if, I don't know it's if actually way better. It's it's way better if you like make your yeah if you refresh it, but also like if you minimize your window as much as possible. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, yeah, that's I hope fine. that doesn't carry over the recording. that true authentic experience. No, it's fine. It's fine. You just have to refresh it. Okay. Um, this one looks like coin right. slots. Resume new game start so... tutorial. So, okay, so this is a game about, um, I, I'm a really big fan of, of anthropology as well as history, and something that really interests me is the, um, like, what had to have happened for um, humans to go from nomadic hunter-gatherers to forming societies in specific places and building cities and agriculture and all that kind of interesting stuff, and, like, where did kingship come from? This is a game that's about that. Okay. In the form of a mechanical coin-operated arcade game from the 70s. Interesting. Okay. You have my yeah, attention. Yeah, let's do it. New game. What? Yep, what? Leaning forward. Enter a name for the family. Cuthbert's, obviously. The warnings. The warnings. <laughs> 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 I think yeah. that sends the wrong message. The warnings. Why? <laughs> To stay away from our family. Stay away. Okay, we're the warnlings. Um, so we're gonna basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna guide a family through the ages on a mechanical board game. So it's sort of like Crusader Kings, right? A little. <laughs> what do you think Crusader but, Kings is? <laughs> not really. No. What do you mean, not really, no? It's got the same music. It's got the same sort of, like, objective. The same and 1970s mechanical arcade uh, game you'll, aesthetic? You'll see well, no, in like, a minute not what an I arcade mean. Game, like, but, like, minus the so actual So what, what does our play. family want to re be remembered for? That's such a weird question. Like, do you ever, you like, wanna... sit there in your newlywed family and look through them and be like, spouse? What shall we, we be remembered for? <laughs> so we want to climb. Happens. Climb to the top. We don't want to settle nope. for less. All yeah, right. And the world shall remember us standing there with our arms wide open under the sunlight. Social climbing unlocks a higher game track. The challenge of the next stage is delayed and the legend beads are worth more. Begin playing. Okay, sure. So, so is, I was is... not... I was not being facetious here when I said that uh, this was like a mechanical board game because we're going to be like dragging stuff. Uh, let's see if I remember how this works. So, okay. Those people um, in the top left are very, it, 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 like they're in very strange positions. Like what? Yeah. So um, what are they doing? We wanna... What are they gesticulating? Um, those are those are us. Um, we are Arquette the Neighborly and Selk the Maverick. Um, he loves and, his wife. Uh, they're, they're a newlywed couple. It's good. Um, so 
what we want to do is we want to take these tokens uh, and if I give this token to, uh, to uh, what's her face, uh, Selk, she will jump to the next uh, irrigation spot on the map. I believe that's how this works. Yeah. So, and then we hit this to start a new turn. Um, we don't want to fall off the bottom of the wheel here because we'll get eaten by crocodiles. What is that simulating bad. exactly? What, what is, what lifestyle consequence is this simulating? Oh, if you're not fastidious, you shall fall into the river and be eaten by the crocodiles. I, I don't know. What moral uh, lesson is there? That I mean, space, I, so that's not good for Ket there. Yeah, um, if you crowd out your wife, she might get eaten by crocodiles. That's a that's a parable for the modern era, so, right there. And if we if we give uh, one of them the ingot, they will fall to the next place that has a person on it, and they will hang out with that person and make tokens. Um, so that's that's a turn there. Well, we so do the that? tokens and determine wanna... how far you move? Um, the tokens determine where you move to. Um, right, so, so it's how far you move, yeah. You know what's it's striking helpful about this for game? Us... What? It, it has this extremely in-your-face conceit of being like a mechanical board game, as you said, but yes. so many of these elements, transparently, are not plausibly mechanical. <laughs> and it's like why would you commit 80 percent to this concept that is absolutely baffling to me yeah i i really don't know so we want to like land on these pieces and every time we land on a place with one of these these jumping tokens here we'll get half of that and that will get applied to our uh our uh this is basically a bar we want to fill to complete whatever we're trying to do we're trying to climb to society so we're once we fill that we'll get up to uh um the next like the next step of this ring here so like eventually so, you climb up to here and you're i guess kings or whatever these look like various actually i recognize some of these uh as mesopotamian uh frescoes um of gods and reliefs stuff. um i i believe this is uh inanna goddess of love and war and I, that might be gilgamesh uh anyway um but also if we land on the same uh I believe if we land on the same tile as our That's wife here or our wife lands on the same tile as us, we make kids or we attempt to make kids. So the, the question we have now is uh, Ket is way down here at the bottom about to fall off. We could give him the um, what is that? The masonry coin we have and jump him up to here. Or we could give him the brewing coin and jump him up to where uh, Selk is and then maybe we'll um, get some kids. Hey, question in the back. What does this simulate? Like, what does this represent, giving them these coins? I guess they're, like, doing different jobs. Um, and you'll, the mechanic that will, will come out of this is, like, they're, they're better at certain things. So if they're on a tile and they're making coins on a tile that, uh, or tokens on a tile that um, they know a lot about, they'll make more. Um, I think we should move him up. I, you know, I I hope that you take huh. this in the spirit which is an intended, Josh, but only you would discover this video game exists. <laughs> it's I I ran into it on Steam a long time ago and I was like, this yeah. seems neat, and I had no I could not at all interpret what the game was by looking at the screenshots. So I was like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll take a <laughs> chance. It's like five it. bucks. <laughs> and it was not what I expected. I don't think uh, you could possibly understand this game by wa seeing a screenshot, watching a video, no, you, commenting you, on it, playing it, or even having it explained to you. Go look this up, and and you try to figure out what this is by what, looking at what the store was it page. called? What the title Seven was like Grand eight words Steps. Uh, the the full title is Seven Grand Steps: What Ancients Begat, and it used to be Seven Grand Steps: Step One: What Ancients Begat, and then I guess when they didn't make enough money to make sequels, they uh, they dropped that from the title. Um, I I didn't say it, but when you I saw the title, I immediately you know what I immediately assumed about this game. I was immediately like, this is like a Bible game, isn't it? It, it, it kind of feels like one, but there's like. There, it's not a Christian game. It, I'll put it that it, way. Um, it, it, so, feels, it feels like a Christian board game from like the 60s or 70s that was meant for moral <laughs> instruction and comes from the pre-design era of game design. 
Yeah, well, the interface certainly looks like that. Um, it, it's really weird. This game came out like in 2013, but it looks like something that came out in 1995. <laughs> like they it really went for that aesthetic. Me, it reminds me of like a casino game, like a complicated yeah. casino game with the type of like like Egypt slot machines or like ancient Rome. Yeah, the one designed it, it very for picky, much picky is gambling that. addicts. Uh, so so periodically we'll get random events popping up that give us little narrative stuff and we can make choices. Um, so Ket walked away from the farm chasing a stray th uh, thought. He found a small pond, <laughs> smooth red clay pond. lined the banks. The unblemished bed was good for a potter. Ket thanks the goddess of waters and took a sample. So we get a pottery uh, so... coven. How, how do you strategize in this game? This is a real question. Uh... Uh, well, right now we don't have a whole lot, but like eventually you try to like build your kids up to be really good at everything. Um, we'll get to that shortly. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's how you become a famous family. The, you just drill your fucking kids. The uh, the water goddess. Um, so we got some tokens from that. Is there any music in this game for you right now? Because I'm not hearing any nope. music. No, nope. you, you, there's no music some... in ancient times. You know, you didn't just pipe music <laughs> at, I mean your board game. <laughs> okay, you so the, we like, passed the sights and smells of the area around you. Okay, Josh, you need to pipe some Kevin McLeod over this, or else people are going to go insane. <laughs> people are going to lose their minds. Um, this is like so some. What's the... This is some creepy pasta shit. What's the flame? So, what did we just earn? Selk moved past uh, Ket and landed right next to him so we can uh, try for a child here. That's our lovemaking icon there. Oh, hey, we Rose! Why did we... Razia. Why did we go bald in the throes of passion? Um, It's best not to ask that question. So what we can do now is rather than using the coins to these, these tokens to move, we can apply them to uh, our kid and they'll get better at that particular skill which will give them more okay. tokens when they uh um land on those spots or get used for making so, tokens and stuff like that so how is one meant to discover the strategy for this game in the process of playing it is my other question i mean there is a tutorial i deliberately did not play the tutorial for obvious reasons um well no sure let's move you here And we're gonna make tokens with you. And then... Well, I, oh. can we get a spider ring now? <laughs> what? Where do the tokens that disappear out to the right go? I'm curious about that. Are those those are going to other families here, to other okay. people. Other families? There are other people on the board. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the other most boring children in the 1970s are in this, in this they can also <laughs> make warehouse make tokens with us so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get that big bead by giving the brewing thing to that guy drag this shit to antiques roadshow you know this game was common in terrible arcades back in the 1970s and i actually managed to contact off camera uh, a man in Houston who remembers playing it and would pay you fifty dollars if he gets to smash it. <laughs> uh... Is this based on anything else? Like, where did this? I can come promise from? you, it's yeah. not. So Someone just Mouse decided G this is it. Th I'm going to take the board game that I designed when I was in grade eleven <laughs> history class. <laughs> program it into a game and then we're gonna I, put I it really, on steam or wherever you found it i, I don't, don't know, where you found know. It. <laughs> that's okay, my guess so the other game that mouse chief developed uh which uh josh alluded to was dangerous high school girls in trouble uh and again it's it's one of those games that has the the premise of a board game but it's single player and uh it it doesn't feel... It feels sort of like a board game, but more it feels like an RPG that feels like a board game. And I think that's just the development wheelhouse of Mouse Chief, and it's it's rad that, you know, that's your thing. 
Uh, but Dangerous High School Girls in Trouble kind of made sense, and it was fun, and it had, like, an interesting thing going on, where you're playing, like, uh, 1920s, like, juvenile delinquents, sort of getting in various shenanigans in a high school, whereas this is, like, I mean, it, again, it's an interesting historical concept, but it's so obtuse. Yeah, yeah, so <sighs> it's interesting like i some of it, it, it gets a little more interesting a little more complex when we get up into some uh like into the next yeah. meal and we start to you know do important stuff um and we'll get some better story stuff going on too this feels like it's the pre-game it's sort of laying down the foundation for where everyone's going to be when the real game starts yeah <laughs> you imagine going to the arcade <laughs> it's just like this guy's been playing for like 20 minutes and he's like you're like wow you must be doing really well and he's like i don't know yet <laughs> i'll get back to you children get along depending upon how you treat them each turn uh the children katenin and right out oh, it went away <laughs> okay they fought is the point yeah two of our children are fighting each other so that's a problem Razia the, and Ray, Razia, and then there's Dees. Is the one in the middle Dees? Or DC? He's, he's a Dees kid. You know. What should we do with? Let's do this. Yeah, Alex has a point. I can't. Un like, what? What are those poses for? Like our wife and us. Like, what are we doing? It's it's definitely like they took a default pose. Like they're like, here's my model and this is the default pose and I'm going to just throw it in there and it looks weird and horrible. Like they're not supposed to be that way. <laughs> like they're like already dead. Like they're doomed. I mean, you know, that is kind of this game. Obviously all these characters are dead. It's like Dark Souls, the board game. <laughs> Dark Not Souls, that the board, board game. game. Yeah, this is exactly it. Is, nobody has ever made a more uh, correct comparison than that. What is Dark Souls, the board game? Besides yeah. Dark Souls, the board game. Like, okay, no, it's... Um, there actually it's is Man a Dark Souls, the board game. Yeah, it's Mansions of Madness. I just put my finger on it. Mansions of Madness is Dark Souls, the board game. I don't remember if the son will automatically inherit or if we get to choose between the son and the oldest daughter. Like, my favorite, I have two favorite stories about Mansions of Madness, like, just to give people an idea of what the game is. It's a cooperative game, except you play against one person who's basically playing, like, the GM. And I played it, like, I played the first edition, like, 20 times, and... I won precisely once. And at one point, like, so I, I died by getting my skull staved in by a sledgehammer from a drifter <laughs> who was supposed to be on my team but had gone insane twice. That, that happened in right. two separate games of Mansions of Madness. You got double drifted. Double drifted. <laughs> The children, or the child Katenin, or Katenin attacked Razia with a stick. He injured Razia's arm. So, uh, youngest son does not like eldest daughter. That's not good. That's just not true. So where, where, how often does it generate Ket? Or not Ket, Ket's our guy. How often does it generate the beads? Uh, those will pop up uh, randomly as we like. Those will be on the wheel as it turns. Eventually, we're gonna hit the end of the wheel, and then we're gonna like have like a generational thing, and they're gonna die. And one of these kids is gonna become our new uh, figure on the wheel, and then we'll have to get them married, which is interesting. Wait a minute. Oh, 
Oh, look, there's a beat there. Hmm. Everything is also very flesh colored. Like just the whole a little bit, this yeah, game it's, is it's kind ugly of washed looking. Out. <laughs> this might be actually like one idea. of the ugliest video games. What do you mean that was the idea? There's like ancient <laughs> and then ancient ugly and then there's just ugly. You also never explained why you picked this game or where you found this game. It's such a mysterious uh, game. I don't know where I found this game, I'll be honest. Like I, I must have run into it on Steam at some point. This is like a copy pasta horror story waiting to happen. Like you're forced I to play the game. Mysterious video game. Like more and more oh, look, runs appear, kid. and you're forced to keep playing it Maybe. until like you finally get to your family, and you realize that you're the reason. Your bad strategy <laughs> was the reason that your life is terrible. So what is the owl there? That's the thing that I give people to make them make tokens. No, the owl. What? The on on the token thing. You not not that owl. owl. Mean? I don't know. Ne next to our oh, beat counter. Oh, hey, we've got a, a story thing. Ah, yeah, right. Cool. Oh, cool. It prints out a card. So, um, where there's a there's a famine going on. Beg the priests for. Oh no! Oh, our young his son died. Oh, what uh, happened? Uh, famine. he starved. The priests were in charge of feeding our 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 youngest boy. Well, we were that out of food. And we asked the priests for help, and the priests were like, "Nah, fuck you." Ugh. I can start to see why this game isn't a biblical game. <laughs> I was gonna get all tetchy about first like, the fact murder that child. Like a... <laughs> I was gonna get all tetchy about the fact that this looks like a. Uh... Uh, a 70s type board game like uh, 70s type arcade game like you said but it has like a modern looking power symbol but I guess IBM actually developed that like in 1973 I don't know it's hard to find a date on this but that seems to be what my sources are leading me to oh yeah that symbol is pretty old it, it looks anachronistic I don't know well you know what it is it, it would probably be like a switch or something it probably wouldn't be like a race car button. Yeah. All, all right, right, well, so... gotta make those tokens. Too bad about the kids and all. Okay, so Alex, help me out here. You said it like default poses, and I'm, I'm willing to accept that maybe that's true. What was she supposed to be doing? Was she boxing somebody? It's very short. Uh-oh, that's not good. Looks like she's supposed to be holding something. Maybe like a baby? Uh, they chopped... They chopped the earth with stone hose. Nana told Ket, uh, Priests say the dead become shadows. Darting eyes revealed his fear. In bright sunlight, workers cast sharp shadows, undulating across furrows. Replied, Undulate. Her said, her grandmother said, "Beetles tell more truth about the future than priests." This is what kept the neighborly decided to do. Many people uh, did think the Beatles <laughs> were predicting the future. So are, we point. are getting notably old. Um, uh, yes, yes, we will yep. age and die. Yes, we are. I mean, ten years we've been doing this. <laughs> what if? What if we got to? Oh, yeah, the game, right? What are we going to do for our 10th anniversary episode? So I've been That's thinking about this for a while. We should play this Fallout one, 76. Right? No. Yeah, that's the that's the one coming up in like six months. So, uh, Isn't it 11 an years? IRL stream. I thought our 10th was the 10th was last year. Um, no, no, the 9th was last year. No. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I misread that entirely. Uh, whoops. Oops. Let's move you up. Well, I mean, Failed at least the tokens. crocodiles are happy. Uh-oh, that's the end. <laughs> wow, you suck at this board game, Josh. 
Well, that's the end of the, the generation. Well, they're getting old. <laughs> if you were elite, they wouldn't get old. So why are the, what's with the uh, circles around our children? We can now choose to be this person in the next generation. Uh, we're going to spend some time and beef up their skills a little bit before we do that, though. We don't have to do that until uh, everyone dies, so... Well, like we got this break in the line here, and everybody's going to end up falling off into the, into the crocodiles. So that's going to be unfortunate. Yep. It's pretty pretty rough, like, when you reach old age, that you just have to jump in and get eaten by a crocodile. Yeah. Oh, we can have a kid. Maybe. <laughs> now is not the time. No, never mind. They look so dejected and sad after that. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> like, that was a mistake. I like that if you fail to make tokens, you get a giant thing that says, Fail to make tokens. But if you fail to make a baby, it's just sad faces all around. <laughs> what happens you really try to make babies happen, aren't you? Babies are important. So I believe the, the second kid, we're, we're going to be the first kid who has all the A pluses, but I believe the second kid becomes relevant um, uh, if the first kid dies. I believe we can jump to her, maybe. I'm not totally sure. Can we go any higher than A plus? Oh yeah, AA. Awesome. Cool. Um, well, lavishing all of our attention on one child and ignoring the others has never not worked for a spoiler warning season. Well, one of them died, Rudskarn. I mean, what can you do? <laughs> They're not getting along. Uh... Oh, Wait, they don't like okay, each Okay, so there's still, they're still t kids with toys, even though their parents are just, like, crypt keepers? You didn't live that long in these they're days. They're old. They're old what kids. that bad. Like... I think, like, 70 years was considered, like, a decent old age in, like, uh, ancient times. Yeah, they're probably in their, like, 60s or 70s at this point. Maybe they had kids late. It did take us a while to get the kids going. Yeah, like, to get like the, the, the biblical... <laughs> the, like, the biblical, like, age of man is supposed to be 70 years. Wait, when did that change? Because, like, didn't Noah live to be, like, 200? No, uh, most of the early uh, patriarchs listed in the uh, the genealogies of the Old Testament um, before the Flood lived to be about eight or 900 years old. Uh, Noah lived to be something like five or 600. So, is it just, like, a natural yeah, decline? Did. Uh, the, the, uh, the Bible is not particularly specific about why exactly that happened. The, oh no, she could, can she the, die the, doing this? Uh, yes, it's potentially possible. I think she'll be fine though. Um, <laughs> it's potentially fine though. Wait, is this the kid? Is this our MVP kid? Yeah. Yes. She was offered okay. work at the temple. Raise of the Maverick. She's the Maverick. I love that movie. I don't really yep, love that movie, Raise but I do Maverick. enjoy that movie. All right. What movie? Maverick. Shotgun. Maverick. <laughs> What's Maverick? It's it's a movie from the '90s based on a TV show from the '60s. Because I'm an old. I'd also like Maverick. to point out that the the quick Why? Uh, the quick abbreviation they gave to like how persons like how skilled a person is is gpa <laughs> um yeah how else what? do you measure it what what is well GPA i guess they just had standardized for? testing so okay um, so here's we, we need to to get married again well if you want the line to continue our parents are dead now we're playing as as um razio the maverick maverick so what was what were you gonna say chris Nothing. I I just like that movie. 
Okay, but why? Uh, it's a good, funny comedy western movie. No. I okay. Got married. I'll, I'll accept that. I've, I've I think I've um, never heard of it. Which is Jessica impressive because I've heard of most westerns. to marry him. Uh, we can't pronounce uh, that shit, so... We, we need it, so... Yeah, he's got sure, a good whatever. GPA, and he's worth two. He the, he didn't like our gift. Well, he could suck it. Then the rain yeah. came, and the river grew. He found Razia desperately waiting to higher ground and offered a lift. Razia took his charity and continued to do so during their long cruise together. This guy looks like he's having fun. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and we've got out. the same weird, like... Bacon arms thing going on. <laughs> it's like stale Wait, bacon. Salute. Like like the Wait, meat was like yeah. in the in a hot fridge. Back, back up, back up. So that's that the kind of bacon we're talking about. Did, did anyone else see the love making image that was completely unhappy? And then we had no, a that baby. Was just angry. That, they, I don't think they like oh, each other wow. all that much. Oh, so you so, have to like. Uh... So it's did just you, an angry your, baby. An, Jessica likes uh, Razia, but Razia does not apparently like Jessica all that much. Eh. What are we it is do? weird that they chose an argument specifically for the creates a child action. I feel like I'm learning more about the relationship than I want to. <laughs> well, that's kind of the cool thing about this game is it... it implies interesting stuff in, in its art style, despite how absolutely <laughs> bizarre the choice was. Oh, go um, on. I think you're reaching there. Uh, <laughs> like design secrets of seven days of bullshit. <laughs> A Mesopotamian anger baby adventure. <laughs> Anger baby, oh god. Anger babies turn out to be the best farmers. Wow, that was a lot of tokens. Yeah, well, these are significantly cooler people than the last generation, so... This is a 15-hour game. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, according to the that's, Steam thing. That's kind of amazing. Like, how do you play this for 15 hours? I, I don't think you do it all in one run, but I do think it's interesting to sort of be staring at this one board that is the whole game. That's kind of neat. I guess. Like, it reminds me a little bit of, like, those, um, like, a good version of those Tiger Electronics things. Where, like, the whole game is stuck in front of ones? you. Every, yeah, the whole state of the system, every potential state is in front of you in the L LCD, but you just can't see it. Wow. They have, there's like one other game that they made, this studio called The Witch's Yarn, and it's five user yeah. reviews, and they're like all negative. I, like I don't couple. get the impression that that Mouse Chiff still exists exactly. Wow, they began this, yeah, the, this yeah. review begins with a quote from Bewitched. <laughs> The quote is, and Dora says, Samantha, I will not stand here and be insulted by something which is 94% water. Then Darren Stevens says, oh yeah? Well, what about something which is 100% hot air? And then presumably he said, Bazinga, crotch chopped, and the studio audience lost its nuts. That's a user review? No, I made that stuff up. Like, at, oh, after okay. the after the, the hot air part, that was the real be bewitch quote. And then I editorialized based on my general scorn for the show Bewitched. Rosia watched the merrymaking from a distance. She had known these people all her life, but on that day there were strangers. Still, they struck her as good people. Okay. <laughs> right. Awesome. Uh... Yeah, you know, I, I, I gotta admit, Alex was not wrong. This is like Crusader Kings, if Crusader Kings' interface was somehow more obtuse. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, I'm fascinated, because I just fundamentally don't get this game on so many levels. Not like I'm well, I mean, I get it, it, right? Like, because I think one of the gimmicks we haven't really seen yet is is the way the other wheels factor into stuff, right? Because right now we're dealing basically with, like, sustenance and survival. We're dealing with mating yeah. and eating. And as you go up through the levels, more and more mechanics open up that are more about sort of meta-social stuff, where it becomes less about you and your kids and eating and brewing beer and, and not dying, and becomes more about, you know, empire building, religion, social stuff, interactions with the other families. Um, and that's kind of interesting to sort of follow one family as, as society progresses through the generations. And that's kind of cool. Right. I'm not saying I don't, like, get the idea of a game that's about, like, following a family unit through various eras. Like, that actually makes sense. That's an interesting concept. What I fundamentally don't get is, like, this whole mechanical means of engaging with those topics. It's so weird. This is what made me want to do this game for this, is because this game is, like, a really neat premise, and then, like, why did they want to make an arcade game? <laughs> It's a mechanical coin-operated thing. This, like, what? this feels like... What? Alex was right, and also this is... You know what else this feels like? It feels like a game on, like, uh, like the History Channel or the BBC's website circa oh, 2005. Yes. Yeah. Like, they commissioned this? Yes. <laughs> and then they had zero engagement with it until it was delivered. Uh, we have a story thingy. If you want to yep. pop that up. After injury, some neighbors believed her to be lazy. So yeah. what happened when we like? What happens when wow, we? Wow, that's, oh, that's a that's petty shit. Wait, wait, yeah, wait you, what the fuck? Past wait, what's that? What's that happening there? Enemy blocks spaces and work. I don't know. Is okay. I assume that's supposed to be like a dress, and she's not just missing her texture. But that's kind of what it looks like. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I think we missed whatever event triggered this. It's, it sounds like somebody got mad at us for something, yeah. whatever that event was, that we clicked past. Which is kind of interesting that that's even a possibility. Yay, they actually like each other now. I hope. It oh, looks like the now. sole criteria for them having sex is that he's In confused and she has a ripping headache. So does she like him now? Sounds about right. <laughs> no. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> ladies, Whoa, you know how it is. that person's got a cool outfit. Your fella's just standing there like, oh, I'm holding an invisible barrel. And you're over there like, dude, I'm standing here holding my invisible package of bacon. So we're kind of okay. coming along. How approximately how many generations do we play in this game? I've never how finished long it, it takes. so I have no idea. More more than four. How far have you gotten in this game? A couple hours. Did you? What were you supposed to be doing that day? It's like what what short did you neglect to play this game for two hours i mean i i kind of get it because like it's it's a desire to make a systems driven approach to uh telling this sort of generational history without it being too narrative driven it's it's not a visual yes. novel and it's also a game that clearly didn't have the money for a lot of fancy art assets and as a result you end up with this Really, it's actually a clever way to do this in a systems-driven way without spending a lot of money on, on art assets. Wow, we are going for a lot of kids. Well, that didn't work. Can okay, I have up to seven? I wonder what happens when you have more than seven. Does it just, like, not let you do it anymore? Or, like, well, we gotta throw little Tommy out to the streets. Oh, someone yeah, got eaten pick, by... You, you pick the child. Oh. Who got eaten? Our enemy got eaten by the crocodiles. <laughs> As it That's should be. That's good. Our, kid, our kids actually like each other. Yeah. Also good. 
That's good, because we're apparently, we really look like we're about to punch our husband in the abdomen, and he's anticipating it, but not really fearing it. You know what era of CGI things these look like, actually, now, now that you guys have been ragging on this? I've realized what I it do, reminds me of. Please go ahead. Uh, the, the CGI cutscenes for Torment. That's what this reminds me yeah, of. Yeah, it's that era. You mean Planescape Torment? Yes. And, like, the pre-rendered graphics for adventure games, uh, like, in that era. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to click on, like, the our bearded husband's nipple and, like, uncover a hairpin that I'm supposed to use to pick open a door. The limits. Oh, we're old now. Kind of. Maybe? I can't quite tell. Yeah, we're old. And we didn't get an old baby. <laughs> Did we come out of that sex, like, visibly aged? <laughs> How bad is our sex life? <laughs> <laughs> I like... How bad is that? That's just not oh, wow, right. That... You should not no. be trying to have kids if you are that age. Well, you could still have sex. I mean, right? Yeah, but like, people didn't have sex or fun back birth then. Control wasn't exactly a science at the point. No, we. So don't don't increase his skills. We don't like him. He's our youngest. We don't like Sim. <laughs> no, you, no, you I, gave the other kids. Yeah, I know that. We don't like him. He's our youngest, and he's got crap skills, and we're never going to become him. We're going to feed him to the Gators. These are these are very very tough times, and we need to make tough choices <laughs> about which of our children to feed to the Gators and which of our children yes. to give the player protagonist baton. One of you is a chosen one, and the other one isn't. Oh, he's holding a cane now. Presumably, he needs it after we've just been like low kicking his leg for the last 60 years just like delivering crisp snap kicks below his kneecap <laughs> it, what's actually going on there because it looks like we're sticking like we're sticking out of a hole like our torso That's, is coming out of the hole, but then our garment is dangling down. Yeah, it said in the beginning, if they're down, it's because they're they're. No, 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 no. Like when it's up, like, like if you look at it, like our garment is hanging down from the middle of the ring, but it doesn't look like there's enough room to accommodate our hips there. So it actually just looks like our hips are disappearing into like a hole in the ring. See, see what I mean? Yeah, they're coming up like, out of the circle, maybe. Yeah, they're yeah, maybe, and, but then uh, our shawl is hanging guy. down. Maybe that guy just doesn't have legs. It's like some of his loincloth and like our weird like long vest thing is hanging down, but it's not like going in the hole with the rest of our body. It's a very interesting story. Storyteller arrived at the farm and worked alongside for the afternoon. He told jokes and invited all to hear more that night. Laborers in the master's fa uh, farm and the master farmer's family gathered to hear news and tales. Uh, do we provide food? Do we join the gathering? Do we stay at the gathering to hear a long tale? Or do we give a story back to the teller? We are the maverick. Give a story feel back. Like should... Yeah. Oh no, this isn't going to end well. Once when Razia entered the city on an errand for the field boss, she was stopped by slaves bearing a rich woman in her litter. Slaves bearing a rich woman in her... Oh, uh, okay. Um... Owen asked Razia with disdainful amusement whether all farmers were as dirty as she. Razia replied, are all city folk so above the land they fear to touch it? Storyteller so just... claimed that this attitude of the wealthy had become more common in recent generations. Luckily, tradesmen still treated laborers as their brothers. Their common dealings with the wealthy should or with the wealthy should ground such oh should ground such so, foolishness. Okay. So we just like took the stage to talk about a time we really burned somebody? Yeah, yes. basically. Wouldn't you? Okay. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, Alex, did, did, can you think of a time you really burned somebody? Oh, God.
plenty of times, really. Just, you know, it's a cycle of burnination when you're on Twitch and it's just like, get out of here, you. I'm not. I'm like, you show me yours before I show you mine. Uh oh. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was just depressing. <laughs> I'm not Our very husbands. mean, like, I'm not very good at those kind of things, I'll be honest. Uh, we just died, FYI. <laughs> just, just yeah. for, pe for those got, paying I, attention. We got gated. <laughs> no <laughs> irrigation, no! Oh. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna be... Samut. He's a triple-A brewer. Who knows nothing about <laughs> irrigation. Well, he's got an A in irrigation. Right, thought so thought I have Pete in the race to catch five animals. I, I can't think of anybody in the good burns, but my wife has one, which I may have shared before. Uh, it, was at a, it, was a, it was at a grocery store. She has a thing about just like she she worked retail for a while, so especially for a while she had like a thing about people just not being professional on the job. And we were waiting in line to get served. There's just like this guy standing around not really doing anything. He's just like talking about like, oh, it's a slow day. And he just like says out loud to his supervisor like, can I go home? Nobody wants me here. And after just like a moment, just just like, yeah, but does anyone want you at home though? Oh, man. So what did we get for choosing Maverick? I, it, I think it defines your personality. Like, on mouse over that real quick. In the movie Maverick, what do you get yeah. when you, they choose Maverick in, in the movie uh, version? A delightful comedy. You no, but the... I mean the characters when they say, I want Maverick. What do you get? Uh, Mel Gibson. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> no, not fine. good. So bad. <laughs> no, no. So our, what do we want to be for the next uh, the next generation? Okay, I just put in Maverick in Google search, and it said, go, go with up neighborly. With the, the Maverick boys, Brett, Bart, Bo, and Brent. Wasn't Brett Bart what? the guy on Christmas Story that he was trying to shoot? No, those are all different people. Black Bart. No, yes. it's different people. It's Brett, it's Bart, it's Bo, and it's Brent. <laughs> Theme song. Maverick theme song. <laughs> Thank you, Wikipedia. Well, that was bad. All of the... All but one of the eligible... ladies got married last turn. <laughs> well, we don't Where have we any options. Find the woman... <laughs> Where are we gonna find the woman to snap kick us in the ankles? <laughs> Sobeknefru is available for marriage. The other thing I can't figure out is if this is supposed to be Mesopotamian or Ancient Egyptian. Like, this is uh, a very Egyptian name. Court her. Yeah, it's got Court so her! Yeah, court her. Sobeknefru spent months after work in the fields by any means together. She prevented wow, this is like a family summit. tradition. <laughs> this is exactly the case. Why are we so bad at courting? We got no raft know. game. Everything sucks. You can't get girls if you don't have good raft game. So I think these are generation tokens here. Curious what happens if... Okay, so... We're not actually competing with, like, other... Players. N not in a... Real sense. No, this is not an MMO. Chris. No, I mean... Okay, I, yes, we're not competing with real other people. But I mean, like... <laughs> it's not like we're competing with AI playing the game the way we're playing it. Those are just other tokens that move across the board and will do things like consume resources that we may want. Yeah. But they're not gonna beat... It's not like Civilization. They're not gonna beat us to the ending or whatever. Right, they're not gonna complete so. the wheel, and no. So it's really us more it's trying to cooperative. I don't know if it's cooperative, Which, but like, it's yeah. We're not stabbing them to death. 
we're, we're racing the piling up bones of our ancestors versus filling up that little thing of beads. Heat from the high sun forced to break. You found shade That's next to Marita, who's eating pistachios. a handful of pistachios. <laughs> from the where'd you get those where pistachios? Else? Marita where'd just laughed. I think I got. <laughs> oh, I just lifted a rock. That's where pistachios come from. <laughs> like, there's a limited number those of supermarket chains available to the Mesopotamians. Like, if, if Josh was eating pistachios, and I was like, hey, Josh, where'd you get those pistachios? And the only response Josh had was to cackle. I would not want any of those pistachios. <laughs> this is probably wise. And, you know, maybe maybe if this game had really amped up the... Okay, wait, what, what was that? Is that what it looks like when we're angry and she's not? Yes. Yes. So, like, why is she almost naked in that and only that one? She was more undressed in the she, like, we're mad at her? Like, well, we did just do there? lovemaking. Then, we made during about... lovemaking. This is not you. Oh, right. To oh, that's kid. right. Fuck that last kid. He can just figure it out. I actually right. somehow managed to forget that, like, when we look angry at each other, that's procreation. <laughs> Isn't it? Is it not completely obvious, Rutscar? What are you talking about? Can we move her there too? Oh, she just moved uh, one ahead. No. Never mind. Yeah. Like, why? Here. Why didn't they just like put a little metal track or like some metal tracks in the middle of the ring that the like our characters come on go across? I guess because then like you know there's too many of them. And it wouldn't always make sense. But then, why, yeah. Why do, uh, Maybe it's magnets. Oh. Also, I'm going to assume it's top down, maybe. Like, this isn't an, an arcade machine. Maybe you're looking at this from the top down, and those are little standees you move. I, I like that you guys are really getting into, like, complaining about when this game doesn't go 100% for its aesthetic. Hey! Oh, this couldn't actually exist. It's such a confusing aesthetic to partially adopt. Why did they commit to having the models look different in every discrete animation? We got plus one. Are we gonna just keep making kids that we're never gonna give any skills to? I guess. Well, I, I really your... hope the front two kids Ooh. die, because that'd be hilarious. <laughs> What is your end game? I, I really want to see what happens on the next thing. I'm hoping we get there. Like, would our prospects be We're almost notably there. It's diminished? Like, if we lost our main kids, but we had our, sh like, feckless backups, then if we just, like, had our entire generation get eaten by crocodiles? I imagine so, because the number of uh, tokens you'd make is much smaller. Right now we're making tons of tokens. I guess. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You, you have a bunch of kids really to, important. like, provide the means for educating one child. All right, we're getting close. I'm getting excited. So we can almost, actually get both almost there. What, that one. Wait, getting close to what? To, to getting in, like, crocodile time? We're at 96. No. No, there was a bead there. Oh, and right, this is right, filling right. up here with the beads. I don't know why they're called beads. It. They're clearly coins, but... Train our good children. Starve our bad children. Yep. We'll force our bad children to work. And fail miserably. Okay. I feel like we're getting into a... Uh, um, Uplift! I, 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 I soulfully resist the word right. rhythm. Yeah, well, so this is going to um, potentially upset that. So we're going to step up to the next level of society here. <laughs> Throw oh, the pot! Okay. No, that, that just means making the pots on the wheel. Throw the pots! <laughs> not literally just, like, picking up pots and hurling them against the side of the hut. All right, let's do it and see what happens. 
Oh no. It's Link's it just, family. It just means making pots. <laughs> they grew hungry and hungrier in time right, of feasting. Kid. The youngest nearly died. Eventually his skills improved and then people actually paid for his pots. Other potters shunned Samut. We didn't get rid So now <laughs> the we got all local these one. tokens. Potter's um, local union well, number one. Okay, so, so they all rise with us. Thieves. Okay. Yeah. So now, now there are people up here, and we can actually drop down and like still do stuff down here if we want to. Beneath us. Um, and you'll notice that as as we have just become a member of this this new level of society, our ability to make sailing wheel and axle plow and forging stuff sucks. <laughs> no wonder our wife hates us. Look at our plow skill. Like. I feel like this would be really interesting if they just rebalance this thing to play over the course of like two to three hours instead of 15. Yeah. It's, it's the 15 hour thing that really is putting me off here. Yeah. I, I feel like I probably would have had my fill of this game about 15 minutes ago. I mean, I like the story it's trying to tell. I like the generational emergent narrative. Um, yeah. But it, it really... Yeah. I, I, like I mean, this. I'm being far too negative on this game. I'm not remotely interested in it, but, you know, we've covered plenty of games I'm not interested in, in spoiler warning. I just, it, 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 there's just so much about this game that I'm trying to wrap my head around. Oh my I god, feel like we got a that's, kid. That's where kind of my oh emotional my god. state is. Combo! If any of these kids manages to make like a shipping token, they get to they get to eat. <laughs> Whichever you figures out how to sail. So So like what would be going on in the background in like the the kids movie version of this game where like it's an actual game they found and it's like a, it's like an educational made for TV movie. Like, what would actually be happening while this game's being played? Jumanji style, in the background. I mean, all of human history. The, the, the beginning and... The beginning of humanity once we decide to do agriculture. Oh my god, he did it! He got a wheel! That kid, third kid, gets food. <laughs> third kid gets food. <laughs> We've spent so much time neglecting third kid. And now that's about to change. And all the third other kid kids made are gonna a get real jealous. They may kill third kid, third kid in the night. <laughs> yeah. And then they'll roll away. Wow, we're going much faster now. That, that's that's interesting. I think third kid is well. Been we can jump between honey. These two third kid couldn't different. have been murdered. Our other children could not move the body just by dragging him against the dirt, and there's no other way they could get him away. It's impossible. So it also seems much more lively now, because now we've got two tracks. And I feel like by the end yeah. of the game, where you're trying to balance four different tracks of stuff, it's actually really, really strategic and interesting. And I feel like the game just, pacing-wise, is badly structured. Oh, it spends mistake. 45 minutes at the beginning of, oh no, you're down by Gatorland. Oh no. <laughs> You're about to discover the ancient Mesopotamian beverage Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been sitting on that? I just can't hold it. The children are they're, it's too complex. I must stop them. You must stop the children? From hanging out? Oh no, we're, maybe we'll make more, actually. Oh no! No, that didn't work. Does, like, baby juice just dry up after a certain amount of time? Do we have a limited quantity? I mean, I don't know how much you know about human physiology, Retscarn, but... There, there <laughs> is a certain point where 
people become unable to have children. Right, but you'd think that there'd just be like a giant like menopause indicator that would appear in this game. <laughs> uh, no one needs that. Token. No one needs that. I, I'm just saying, it would be entirely consistent with everything on this game so far. What's that armored thing? So, what? Oh, uh, like next door that's beads. That's what it looks like now, I guess. That's, oh, it's because we're um, we're going for a heroic legend. Got. Wish we were playing brutal legend. <laughs> what can we do here? Let's. It would be pretty interesting if like oh. this this did just pivot and suddenly like. We discover a magical artifact and attempt to defeat a sorcerer all through the context of, like, untold. this video game. No, it's like the... Suddenly the the, the thing pulls back from the, the, the game board and you're actually in a, a 3D game in, like, Unity and whatever. <laughs> you're at a pub. I mean... I, especially given the fact this was made before the heyday of indie-friendly middleware, right? Like, realize that this is a 2013 game, so this is this predates, like... Unity was around, but it wasn't really being used that much. And, uh... All the other major li engine licenses, like, Unreal wasn't free yet, or however free Unreal is at this point, where yeah. with it's, like, under $200,000 earned, keep the license, or whatever the deal is. Um, so, I, I get if you're trying to tell more of an introspective, uh, narrative generation game that you're really, you don't have a lot of options, especially back then. Yeah. It does feel like they could, they could speed this up a bit, like... Yeah, no, I agree. The, the pacing is my big complaint. I actually really like a lot of what it's doing. What's killing me is, like, 45 minutes of the smallest wheel of just... Brewing, irrigation, masonry. Brewing, irrigation, masonry. Upwork, home TV bed. Upwork, home TV bed. Yeah. For 45 minutes is just too much. And I get that you have to do a little bit of that to be able to sort of prime the pump of like, how many kids you got? What's your goal? We have to sort of seed the entire uh, emergent stories by giving you some kids. How many kids do you have? Do they like each other? Um, but that really needs to be done in like one generation, not two, and, and make 20 minutes at the most. I was I was just thinking to myself that this seems like a this seems like kind of the a first game by a studio that would like refine this guy by game three or four and make something kind of interesting. It's like a sleeper hit. Uh, and I was trying to think to myself like, what is the evolution of this mechanic? Like, where does this have to go? What? Like, where can you take this kind of game? And what the fuck? When did we get they, fashion? They changed. It's Alex, the future make now. a fashion video about this game. Oh uh, no, cup. I can't. That's just very depressing. <laughs> There's very little color. I saw one person with like a red and white checkered outfit. And everything else has been tan. Beige. The gators are naked. Naked is kind of a fashion statement. Our children are kind of shiftless looking, and it's not clear. They, they appear to be wearing robes, but it also just kind of looks like they have, like, Ooh. droopy arms. I like writing. Um, I was thinking, like, yeah, but, like, where where does this spit, like, where do these mechanics have space? And it kind of hit me, like, a, a gut punch that, like, the real place that you would be able to expand on a game like this and perhaps find success would be, like, uh, a microtransaction mobile game? Yeah, you know, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Like, oh, you're out of pottery tokens, but you can buy more in the money store and not have to watch your ch promising children get eaten by crocodiles? What do you say, champ? Oh, your friends are already in the blue ring. What are you doing down there in the red ring? No, that's not what I wanted. Not ready. 
This is not an indictment of this game, obviously. It's just kind of a, I guess it's just kind of a bleak observation. It, it is really just like, like, why this? Yeah, like, what, why, you know, where, how did you come to this game? Because, like, this clearly required a lot of work to make. I'm not I mean, saying I, I think it it's... Required more like... Go ahead. I think it's, I mean, if you, if you look at the guy's Twitter, it's it's clearly someone who's, I mean, older than me. He's he's even grayer than I am, and I'm pretty gray at this point. And, like, I feel like maybe he, he this is something from his childhood, like these, these sort of mechanical 70s-style arcade games that he grew up with, and uh, it's a great way to visualize the systems he, he's interested in, the sort of, like, presenting it as a layered approach where you have, like, base survival, and then you have this sort of, like, mid-level science and culture thing. And then from there you have empire building and religion and sort of like looking at looking at all of them. It, it just there's something about it that makes sense in this presentation. Um, I wish the game was more this and less board game super abstract weirdness. Because um, these things come up occasionally, and like there are ones that are serious. Like uh, at some point, one of my like peasant people got involved in a revolution. Um, but like for the most part, like you know, they're pretty perfunctory and don't make that big of a difference. But I wish it was like more like here's the narrative. Here are these people get to learn what your your kids are like, as opposed to the kids fought and they don't like this kid, but this kid likes this kid and this guy doesn't like this kid. Um, Tio the optimist. Anyway, I think that's a, we've been doing this for like an hour somehow. <laughs> somehow, yes. Yeah, I mean, well, if, if I'm going to say one last thing, it's like, as as happens not infrequently, I regret that I've, I feel like I was, I've been a little mean in this episode, <laughs> these episodes. Just and it, this, game doesn't des this game doesn't really deserve it. I mean, my, my big thing is still the pacing. I, I think that's the game's critical flaw. Like, it, it, it feels like it was pressured. Like, it advertises itself as a 15-hour, quote-unquote, full game. And because it was from, like, 2013, maybe it was a little before sort of the advent of a lot of what we would consider indie games now. And I, I don't know. I, I I feel like there's a there's an amazing four- to five-hour experience buried among 15 hours of this. Yeah, like, I, I stand by my observations. It's just that I, I don't feel that, like, it deserves any rancor for, I don't know. No, no, we're just, you know, yeah. all fun. So, yeah, that this is, that was Seven Grand Steps. Um, I... I really don't know. Like this game does some really interesting stuff. Uh, by interesting, I mean very weird. Why are we getting? Wow, we can actually maybe get to the to the legendary heroic shit here in just a second if we want to try to get up to that. Let's see what happens. All right. We got one of these. The future is coming. <laughs> what the fuck is our husband doing? <laughs> it's a good question. What, what, what just happened what to him? It's... Hang on. <laughs> he did change Hero. the art, but not the position. That's amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we just dipped him in corn batter. <laughs> See, but all of this is more interesting now that the game's moving. Like, we're actually making progress regularly. Um, I, I don't know. I, I That intro just kills it dead. So yeah. the priests are kind of cracking down on the price of uh, pottery, and we're potters, so... Throw more pots. Break more pots. Yeah, throw more. <laughs> I... It worked last time. Just keep throwing pots till we're a more evolved Do society. We... Stand up and declare until prices are work? raised, I will stop making pots, or until prices are raised, I will make and I will work for nothing. No, no, the the this, this the first one, the the stop making them. All right, let's, what, let's why have until a, 
until you Revolution. give me what I want, I'm gonna like ultra scab. No. They who shirk their duty to the gods will bring misfortune to all. So, uh, do we attempt to escape? Convince no, the rebellious potters to resist the guards. Turn Actually, do that one. Do that one. Do that one. We're heroes. We're heroes. We're heroes. Resist. Resist. Hashtag Many were resist. slaughtered. The price of pottery rose there after. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. it we're a local sense. hero did and we a personal kill the hero. Priests. Or were the potters slaughtered, and because there were less potters, the price went up? Who knows? We're a hero now. Many, awesome. many, many were slaughtered. It's I, I do Our love the ambiguity of that. potter slaughter. That's what they oh, named wow. the event. Okay, so that gave us yes. legend points that we could put towards something else. The potter uh, slaughter caused by our daughter. A legend of her uh, social advance. Well, no, that's too much. Challenge but. of the age. Time is now the Copper Age. Before the next age begins, your family will be challenged. They must survive historic circumstances that ended the age. All right, find out what those historic circumstances are in week two of seven <laughs> minutes in heaven. <laughs> I suspect it will be difficult to get you all to come back for a second week of this. It's okay. I am on vacation next week. <laughs> <laughs>